president from a fireside presidential address delivered earlier this year on the topic of the National Recovery Administration. This is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. No dispute. This is no time to cavil or to question the standards set by this universal agreement. It is time for patience and understanding and cooperation. The workers of this country have rights under this law which cannot be taken from them and nobody will be permitted to whittle them away. But, on the other hand, no aggression is now necessary to attain those rights. The whole country will be united to get them going. The principle that applies to the employers applies to the workers as well. And I ask you workers to cooperate in the same spirit. When Andrew Jackson, old Hickory, died, someone asked, will he go to heaven? The answer was, he will if he wants to. If I am asked whether the American people will pull themselves out of this depression, I answer, they will if they want to. The essence of the plan is a universal limitation of hours of work per week for any individual by common consent. And a universal payment of wages above the minimum, also by common consent. My friends, I cannot guarantee the success of this nationwide plan, but the people of this country Hello? can guarantee yes. it. We need help right away. Danger is driving on Central Island. <laughs> can have no influence on economic ills. One reason is that I happen to know that professional economists have changed their definition All cars, pursuit is called off, abandon search and return to patrols. For a very long time. But I do have faith and retain faith in the strength of common purpose and in the strength of unified action taken by the American people. The president there speaking earlier this year on the National Recovery Administration.